Strong words are thrown at Bill Cosby in court today by one of his sexual assault accusers. Meanwhile, Cosby's lawyers are saying the jurors should pay no mind to these women's stories. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden joins us live from Norristown, where he's been in court all morning long. Good afternoon, Joe. Jim, good afternoon to you. Bill Cosby accuser Heidi Thomas just wrapped up on the stand. She spent 90 minutes there this morning. Prosecutors called her late yesterday afternoon. Now she is one of five women who claim Cosby drugged and sexually assaulted them. Now Thomas's story goes back 30 years to Reno, Nevada. She, like other women in this case, were hopeful Cosby could jumpstart their careers and cut through Hollywood red tape. Thomas, who went on to be a full-time mother and school teacher, revealed in 2014 her story of abuse to news media and law enforcement. I underscore in the strongest words we've heard so far in this case, Heidi Thomas testified and I quote, I want to see a serial rapist convicted. Now for the record, Cosby is not charged with rape, but faces three counts of indecent assault directly related to allegations he drugged and molested Andrea Constant in 2004. Cosby lawyers have called witnesses like Heidi Thomas distractions. They've also described Constant as a con artist. Now, now, this morning was very slow to start. Judge Stephen O'Neill remained behind closed doors for an hour and a half, unexplained what was going on behind those closed doors. But of these five prior bad acts witnesses, we're, we're being told that at least one of them has been convicted of filing false police reports more than 10 years ago. Defense attorneys are hoping that prior bad acts witness gets the boot from being able to testify here. A lot still to develop as far as that is concerned. Reporting live in Norristown, Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thank you.